Hello there everybody, my name is Chris Nofsores and I'm going to be showing you guys a Hearthstone Warrior deck. Today I'm going to be doing a few ranked games with it, so hopefully we can get a few wins. This is a mid-range, like late game warrior. Um, it's pretty, the difference is, is it's pretty strong mid-game compared to like other control warriors. I mean, they're still decently strong mid-game, but this is like exceptionally strong mid-game. And I'll show you guys the deck at the end of this video. Check out some Warrior Hearthstone gameplay. With this new season starting, like most of the other seasons, I want to play a fair amount more um, so that I can hopefully get to Legend. But like most other months and seasons, that usually doesn't happen for me, so uh, I just sort of assume that that's probably not going to happen this time either because I tend to get busy with stuff, even though that really is just an excuse, but <sighs> school, man, school. Anyways, whoa, oh, this is a beast druid, okay, hmm, interesting. Well, that kind of sucks, hmm. I guess wonder what we're gonna play. If he'll ever pass the turn. Okay, so um, I guess we should just armor up. Because if we just throw out our armor smith, it's just gonna die. So not really a point in doing that. So yeah, like I said, what I noticed about this deck, what's pretty insane, is Oh, I thought he was gonna play a druid of fang. I was like, oh my Okay, so I think we gotta execute that. Yeah. Execute that. And the cool thing about that is now we can kill the panther, unless if he wraths or swipes. I highly doubt that he would swipe the. Oh, I mean, he might if he doesn't want it to trade. This is actually pretty annoying, though. A 4 2. Because it just. It does a lot of damage. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, well, I guess we at least have this. That's kind of cool. We're going to hit it first and then run this guy into it because then we at least get one armor stacked. So. And like I said before, the sad thing is, is you can easily trade into our armor smith, which really sucks. Um, or like if you played a druid of the fang right now, that'd be pretty strong. So. Oh, I guess the Beast Drew is not too bad. A little bit interesting. I'm glad I'm facing against this guy. Even though there's a decent chance that I'm going to lose. But it's pretty cool though. Yeah, he should attack into it. Because just in case if I had Execute, but the chances of me having another one aren't very high. So I guess we'll just play this and then run into it. Can't really do anything anyways, so. Ah, man. This guy's deck has like awkward healths for warriors to take out. Unless if you have like shield slam or execute. So that's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh man. We might have a chance if we can get into late late game. Because I think that our late, late game is probably stronger than his, because he has more mid. Usually, Druid's more mid-range. I mean, if he has Ragnaros or something, that'd be scary. He probably is running at least one combo, I would assume. And this can also be comboed with that. Yeah, so this actually this isn't too bad because it can be comboed with the Panther. Well, on like turn eight. Oh. Okay. Can't really silence that. Hmm. I don't really know what we should do here. I guess we'll just do this. We can't really trade, I don't know. Like, we probably should trade, but there's not really a point, though, to... I don't know. 
But then hitting his face is kind of useless too because we have Alexstrasza, but we might need to use Alexstrasza on ourselves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did he kill us? Oh, wow. Alright. Looks like we lost. Probably. Um... Yeah, so we lost. Dang it! That's insane! Them drops though. Oh yeah, and the combo. I wonder... Oh yeah, because the Cobra's a beast, so it would combo. And then the Druid of the Claw. That's actually pretty strong. I don't really know why the pro. Well, I guess it might be a little bit unreliable. Maybe that's why the pros haven't played it. Interesting deck. Alright, so that Druid was kind of tough. Um, maybe we'll have a better chance against this mage. Uh, if it's freeze mage, probably not too scared. If it's mech mage, you might be a little bit scared. We do have a fire, fiery war axe, can't even talk. So, you know, I don't know. And, hmm, so it might be a portal. Might be an unstable portal mage with the mana worm and then the um, water elemental. Probably. Maybe some duplicates. Hello. Okay, now so that's Mac Mage. Alright, well that kinda sucks. I think we should do this. Oh, it actually Oh, so even if it doesn't uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it technically did take damage, but kind of not really. I don't know. Alright, that was a pretty good draw. We got pretty lucky on that, but we are frozen, so that kind of sucks. If we can make it to turn 7 with him not having too much on the board, I think we, I think we got this, because then we have the rag follow-up with, like, boom, so... If he pings this... That's pretty good for us. I mean, he doesn't have anything. He has nothing to play. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're pretty lucky right now. Um, we're going to obviously draw some cards. And I guess we can just play the armor smith just to have it, you know? Alright. So now we can shield slam anything that he throws out. And then if he throws out, like... Yeah, so he's... His hand's pretty stacked. Okay. Okay, so he's got some spells in there, too. That kind of sucks, but, you know, what are you going to do? This kind of sucks. We don't really have... I guess we'll just hit his face and then throw out Death Bite. If he has Harrison, that'd be kind of devastating. Um, we'd still throw out Boom, though, either way. But this way, we have Boom followed up with 4 attack, too. And we could shield slam too if we need to. Alright, so we're probably gonna attack into that. And he drew something that he wanted, water elemental. Oh, okay. Um so I think we're just gonna play boom and attack into this guy. Kinda hurts our shield slam, but he appears to have big guys in his hand, so it kind of sucks, but getting out the boom is just so strong, like, he has to deal with it. And we have more health than him, too, so. <clears throat> Do have to watch out for our weapon, though, because the the proccing. Okay, so, mirror entity, I'm assuming? Yeah, so it's not duplicate. So I'm really assuming that is mere entity. Someday I'll be just like you. Okay. So hmm. So I guess we'll take the chance of this killing this, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Four damage to the face, okay, that's still fine. Let's hit this card draw. 
And then we'll attack, get some more card draw. Too bad we can't play Death Spite. Okay, that's fine. So yeah. Oh, and it's not Mirror Entity either. Which means... Oh, it's Vaporize! <laughs> oh man, this is great! All these people with all these different decks. Oh man, this is great. Okay, so now that's maybe Mirror Entity. Oh man, three cards off of this value. Value, thank you. Hmm. Oh. Is it vaporize again? Oh, okay, I was like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Nah, he would have played it there, because he would have known that. This guy was gonna attack into it. So his hand was stacked with secrets and like a little bit medium sized, I don't know, a little bit bigger minions. So that he just wanted to combo. That's why he was saving the mage or whatever, the little goblin dude. Oh man. This is so great. So this is why like the lower ranks and the new season is just so good. It's because people try like so many different things. Fine. Um, kind of tempted to shield slam here, honestly. I, I think we'll just throw this guy out and then. Strike. Uh, yeah, it almost it probably was worth it to shield slam just because now he can kill the Harrison. Well, he could have pinged the Harrison, but then he would have been using two mana at least. But. We draw our Kel'Thuzad, so this is why this deck is really strong, is as really good mid game with like low feb and the spellbreaker and all that stuff. But then it also thank you for the armor. It also has like really, really strong late game with um Kel'Thuzad, Rag, um, this guy, Sneasel Shredder, and then Alex Straza, and then of course uh Grom. So Hmm. I guess we could rag, I mean, rag and shield slam this guy. Yeah, <laughs> kill one of the little taunts. I just want to get it out, because it's just better to have the threat out. If he BGHs it, it's not that bad. Sweet, we won, okay. But yeah, I knew, I was pretty sure that we were going to win. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. So to be honest, I'm a little bit afraid of facing Paladin. Um, yeah, Paladin's seems pretty strong with the muster and the quartermaster combo. And yeah, it's kind of like a warrior's downfall as they can't really deal with like a whole bunch of little guys on the board except for brawl. I mean we do have a brawl on the stack so but Reporting for duty. Uh, and so the dudes begin. That's kinda nice, I guess. We'll just armor up I guess. I think they've gone first like every game that we played, yeah, this entire time. Oh, so this is an aggro paladin. Actually, well, it might not be. Could be, might not be. Oh. Okay, so we can get rid of both these guys. I think we're gonna do that. It's because we don't want him getting too out of hand before we get into late game. And we have Harrison Jones, so that's kind of cool. If he like, we can Belcher next turn though. Like he's probably. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna Belcher. Like he's gonna play probably like a little guy. I don't know three costing guy or something and then we're gonna play a belcher and then he's probably gonna want to true silver into it then we're gonna play Harrison and then we'll play Baron get in hmm that's interesting hmm. 
Does he have weapon removal? He might. So we'll just attack into it to be sure. And he can't Black Knight, so that's good. Muster, okay. We got our Baron Geddon coming up here soon. And we'll get card draw with Harrison. This is actually really good. So that's why Harrison's good here. Gonna attack into it. It's fine. Fine. Okay. And we got follow up with Baron Geddon too, so. Attack on these guys. End our turn. So he'll get value with the muster. Um, and the sad thing is, is the Baron Geddon doesn't do enough. Um, but he doesn't have Quartermaster, so there's the True Silver. <laughs> okay, that kind of sucks, but Baron right here is pretty good, like, so we're not even tripping off that. He has BGH, we'd be sad. I don't really have a turn 8 follow-up, which is weird because we have, like, three turn 8 guys, so. But yeah, Baron right here is excellent, so. And he can't kill it, even if he wanted to with his face, because True Silver does not have enough attack. So yeah, Baron's pretty good. There were some times where Baron was taken out of um, Warrior decks, but I don't know, it's it's good. Oh, that kind of sucks. Not going to kill it though, right? No Stampeding Kodo? <laughs> yeah, the Paladins pretty much took Stampeding Kodo out. So, tax into it. Consecration. What's he gonna do? Just leave it? Probably just leave it. Come on, man. Just leave it. And then we can low Theb. I suppose. That kinda sucks. Hmm. Or we can armor. Hmm, what's the best play here? Armor, armor smith. Mm, it's not really that strong though. Could despite. Then we don't really have anything though. Um, I, I don't know. We'll just play this. Whatever. Uh, I guess I didn't really think about his Aldor trading easily into that. And then the uh, Toss Dingo killing the Baron. This is a really awkward turn. Maybe we should have just ran the Baron into the Sengen and then Death Blight and then Armorsmith with Taskmaster buff? Maybe? Fine Shield, okay, that kind of sucks. Oh, we ran the Armorsmith first, okay. I guess. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Despite Toss Dingo, obviously. And then we might just play Lothab, I guess. Yeah, and then play Lothab. And then... Do we have the kill? Because he, if he Consecrates, he still can't Oh, okay. True silver. Kinda sucks. Let's see, we have... Well, we have... Four... We have enough damage. He, he's probably gonna heal, though. Oh, he's not gonna heal. Oh, well, I guess he did play true silver, so he can't really heal. Alright, so we got five plus twelve. Yeah, we got... We got the win. Yes! I can't believe we won. He wasn't as uh, scary of a paladin, I guess. Or, well, he didn't have the heal bot or the whatever bot guy in the beginning either. That's pretty difficult minion to get rid of. Um, Paladin's definitely really strong, but we got him. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the deck. Aha! So I was actually wrong. We do not have a KT. I was wondering because. 
We already have three eights. Okay, so those are the three eights I was thinking of. Um, and then Brawl and all that good stuff. So, I mean, when you get into late game, it's it's pretty solid, you know? I mean, the rag is just, like, scary threat. Boom, obviously. Like, you gotta have boom, like, no matter what. But, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like I say, in all my videos, I has, like, three to four videos coming out each week. Have been getting a little bit busy lately. But I'm going to try and make that up, like, more videos um, on certain days. And then I'll maybe, like, space them out. But, yeah, that's, like, the whole scheduling, the YouTube life and all that good stuff. So, uh, like always, though, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate just uh, having, like, you know, people enjoy my videos and just kind of checking me out, you know, seeing what's going on. But, yeah, this will help you guys hopefully stay up with the meta. And uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because I lost my first game. I won my last two. It's pretty cool. Uh, and thumbs up for Vaporize uh, Mage, definitely. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay chill. Catch you in another video. Peace.